Good morning, everyone. Oh wait, this is a night routine. Good night. Just kidding. But pretty much, my mornings are always filled with so much activity that by the time it's nighttime, that is when I really wind down and try to do a lot less. So even though on my channel I share a lot of my morning routines, here's what goes on the rest of the day. When I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, I always try to incorporate a workout, I eat, I also had therapy today, and pretty much I try to move my body all throughout the day so by the time my head hits the pillow, I am so tired. After leaving teaching, pretty much the middle of my day is always dedicated to editing videos and focusing on my YouTube channel. head out in about 30 minutes so I'm going to prepare dinner now so when I get home it is ready to go. Get some uh, chicken. We're going to make spicy Korean chicken, so I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of gochujang, a tablespoon of soy sauce, a teaspoon of garlic, and a teaspoon of ginger. I have these little cubes from Trader Joe's and I just pop them in. A tablespoon of sesame oil, and then a tablespoon of mirin, a tablespoon of gochugaru, a tablespoon of sugar, and then a tablespoon of maple syrup so that I'm not adding as much sugar. I realized I didn't have any veggies in the fridge, so for our vegetable today, it's gonna be this frozen cauliflower. So I'm just gonna let this marinate in the fridge while I'm gone. I am on my way to tutor two students and I'll be back around 5.30. I tutor a first grader and then I tutor a fifth grader. Very different age groups. And so the first grader I only do for 45 minutes and then the fifth grader we do an hour and a half. I still missed working with kids, so this is a way for me to stay connected. So we want to get the first one, then move to get the second one. Or how many times are you going to move? Right there, like a puzzle, good job. It's raining so hard, but on to the next student that I am going to tutor until 5.30. Buckle up. Finally home and we are going to cook the chicken in the oven. You can totally pan fry it But I don't like everything just flinging everywhere and at least in the oven. It's pretty clean 43 Turn the oven on for 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then we're going to cook it for about 20 minutes I needed a little pizza snack break and then my husband finally came home, but that didn't stop me from eating still I always ensure that all of our meals have vegetables, protein, and carbs. I feel like cutting up the chicken thighs into cubes makes it easier to eat, and then I throw in the extra into some Tupperware, and it's going to be meal prep for my husband tomorrow. If I cook, then my husband does all the dishes, and then if he cooks, I do all the dishes. My husband and I try to read the Bible every other night or so, but it really depends on how busy our weeknights are. But things only become a habit the more consistent we are. So we're trying. I do have my own quiet times in the mornings, but it does feel nice to do it with my husband as well. I always try to take off my makeup and my sunscreen as soon as possible because I like to have my skin breathe without anything on it. <laughs> I 
I prefer being barefaced and not having a lot of makeup on, so whenever I take off all of my makeup, it feels amazing. A hack I saw on TikTok is to take the ordinary glycolic acid and then rub it on your feet and then put some aquaphor on your feet as well and it's going to help make it softer. Something I am trying to get better at is stretching every day, basically, you know, with all the workouts that I do. If I don't stretch, it's really going to impact my body long term. And this lady from my church shared that she stretches 15 to 20 minutes every single day. And that inspired me, so I hope this inspires you to stretch. And you really don't need a lot of room. I'm literally in between my closet and my bed. And we're going to stretch for 15 to 20 minutes by following this video. Actually, it's 16 minutes to be specific, but it's by Maddie Morrison, and it is a full body stretch and she doesn't talk it's just straight relaxation you stretch and follow along no excuse to not be stretching literally do it with me right now if you want to think of stretching as oiling your gears so if you feel like you're really stiff and you're not able to move around a lot you got to work on your mobility and then also stretching helps to recover our muscles a lot of space here. Okay, the wrist stretches always get me because I don't stretch my wrist enough. I need to be doing this more often and the hope is to do it every single day and designating time throughout my nights to do this. <sighs> that was already five minutes in and I already feel so much more relaxed and a lot of tension is out of my body. So I'm just gonna keep going and wind down. <laughs> turn on the air purifier if it smells like our dinner and then I usually watch Korean dramas to end the night while my husband plays some computer games. I usually crawl into bed around 8.30 p.m. and this is a time for my brain to just completely relax. I don't have any expectations. I'm not really productive. I am just vegging out. I try to watch shows that I like at the end of the day because then I feel like I'm not distracted because it's time for me to do nothing. Are you guys <laughs> My husband always tucks me in as our nighttime routine, but then I always forget that I have to pee, so I always end up getting up. Thanks for joining my night routine with me. So basically, if you do a lot throughout the day, I hope that it'll make you so tired that by the time your head hits the pillow, it's time to sleep. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye! Bye.